Right now, you go on social media, it's, it could be, uh, it feels like algebra to me. Two oh, plus please. two is four. If you do this, that means this. If they, you know, women do think like this, men think like, and that, that simplicity with yeah. such intricate talking points is like, yeah. it's, it throws me off. So, But when you're going against the dumbing down of a culture, it's going to be a rocky road. It's, a rocky, I mean, it's a rocky road, yeah. I, I'm thinking of, uh, of uh, Moses Ingram who's in mm. this Obi-Wan series, yes. and yeah. uh, so much racism thrown at her. I saw that. But yeah. Disney was there. They had a plan, and it seemed like, oh, Disney learned along the way to have a plan for these sort of things to happen. Yeah. When it happened to you, yeah. I don't think there was a game plan. I don't think they saw hey, it coming. Man, that's how it goes, man. That's how it goes. But but that's the piece that I felt. Moses Ingram being protected makes me feel protected. Do you understand what I'm saying? It makes me feel like, okay, cool. I am not the elephant in the room because when I started, it wasn't really a conversation you could bring up. You know, you know how they went through it. It was oh, kind of yeah, like, let's just be silent. Oh, it he's bringing a, this up again. Yeah, it yeah. wasn't a conversation you could bring up. But now to see how blatant it is, to see Ewan McGregor come and support is, is it for me fulfills my time where I didn't get the support. It doesn't make me feel bitter at all. It makes me feel like sometimes you're that guy. And my dad taught me that. Sometimes you're not the guy to get the blessing. Sometimes you're Moses, you know, you lead the people to the, to the mountain, but you see the destination. You don't get to go in. You get others to go in and that's where you get your happiness from. And for me to see other people accepted and then at the same time to see that the studios now are like, okay, cool. This is not an elephant in the room conversation. We need to support our black client. It's, it's fantastic. Okay, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to praise you one more time then because uh, I, I, I thought what you did um, after uh, episode nine was mm. a lot like what you did in the park that day in London mm. when you said, I'm going to quote you, what I say to Disney is, do not market a black character yeah. as important and then mm -hmm. push them aside. I, I feel like they heard you. Yeah, no, no. And, but as they, sh as they should, even if you want to remove race out of it, just from a business perspective, don't, don't tease no black. You know what that does to black people? You know how you guys got everybody motivated around Black Panther? Don't tease no and market no Black Panther, uh, market a black actor and switch and, and bait. Switch it, yeah. You don't do it with white actors. You don't do it. You don't. So don't think you can have this skill set where you're going to put everybody on plasters. You got you got white people and black people excited. And then we come in and they in it for five minutes. You know, know, they die at the beginning. It's like, or they the best friend. Where's, they the always, where's the character arc? Where is the what, character Where's arc? the character arc? But, where, but, but why is it also that, you know, when you get, sometimes it can be writer's block, but why is it also that when you have this writer's block, you know, that affects these type of actors why, why is it that you, know, Thank you. you still got a rich story coming through why can't it be spread out and for, for me those because conversations some characters are, get stories some characters get tying up loose ends I mean we know the difference I yeah. mean we can feel it on set it's like yeah we don't need you no more Bye. oh oh we're not in this you, you can feel it but what the conversation does is it it, it, it for me is so positive because it gives other actors the ability to be able to say okay look I'm not comfortable with this or this is what's happened to this is the kind yes. of support I need. And that for me is what I wanted out of everything. I wanted to be able to walk into a room, a black actor, whenever they feel some type of way, they can go to the studio head and say, this is, this is how I feel, this is the support I need and they can get that. It won't be a weird conversation. And me knowing that, I'm like, cool. Will you play the character again? At this point, I'm, I'm, I'm cool off it. I'm good off it. I think, um, to be fair, what I've, the allies that I found within Joel Taylor and Jamie Foxx, Tiana Paris, Viola Davis, all these people I've been working with, um, versatility is my is is my path. And I think I think Finn is Finn is at a good, you know, confirmation point where you can just, you know, enjoy him in other things, the games, the animation. But right. I feel like, yeah, seven to nine was good for me. Yeah, that was good for me. <laughs> go play James Bond, and then in 10 years, Disney will bring hey, a truck man. of money over and try and talk you into it again. Hey, man, go back when you're 79. <laughs> Chewie were home, saying. <laughs> Harrison Ford that a little bit. Right? Yeah, he's yeah, not yeah. sad about it.